Hey everyone, I'm outside today just for a little bit. I'm trying to look for any evidence of the alliums that I planted in November. I put a video up of that. I could see some of them from the window. I'm just coming out here to see if I actually can find them. Not sure where I saw. They're all in this area. And things are really starting to pop. Oh wow, I'm gonna get out and do something about this poor azalea. Not sure what's going on there. Here's an allium. See that it's very sunny out today. Let's see if I can get in from this direction. So that is a purple sensation allium. I planted about 10 in here. So that's one. I'm on the hunt for the rest of them. You can see the daylilies are quite already in their spring growth phase. Oh, here's two more. Let's see if I can get them shaded so you can see them better. There's two more there. I'm not seeing any others. So, keeping my fingers crossed, the rest of them are going to come up. I'm going to see if I see anything else popping. Like I said, all the day lilies. I can see buds on the Father Gillas. I have some Campanula in here, but they're not doing anything just yet. More deer damage on my... Uh, this is a gem box. Lots of daffodil action, though. So let's go check them out. These ones up here are in full bloom, and they have been for a couple of weeks. Let's get more sun up here. Stay. I still have my cloches on top of my brass buckle ilex. Anything that's going to get damaged by rabbits or deer. Like this poor strong box. Looks like they've hit this one a little bit too. But see a hyacinth coming up there. Let's see if we see any of the others. Well, it looks like that looks like a hyacinth. They're probably all hyacinth. Yep, that's definitely a hyacinth. I can see in there. Tulips tend to be a little iffy around here. That was probably a tulip bunch. Looks like it's been eaten by probably rabbits. That hyacinth is getting eaten by rabbits. We still have a lot of cleaning up to do around here. But I just wanted to see what was going on. I've been, I haven't been posting anything for a while. Started a new job in the horticulture trade. So I have been doing at the nursery what I should be doing in my own yard, cleaning up. So now we have a lot of cleanup. Let's see. These yarrows have always looked pathetic to me, but they tend to stay evergreen. It's about their fourth year and they really haven't done much. The ornamental onions all have new growth and obviously the stalks need to be cut back. I do have some more aliens over here. I believe these are Globemaster or Gladiator. I think they're Globemaster. And they're absolutely ginormous. And they've absolutely naturalized here. Planted six. And there's probably, once they come up, probably 10 to 12 of them. Little buds on the oak leaf hydrangea. 
Well, let's take a look at the lilacs. I know I'm all over the place. <laughs> lilacs definitely have buds on them. Hydrangea macrophylla has fresh green growth at the bottom. I should cut all these stalks because this, this poor plant took a hit last year. In the horrible heat of the summer. And it really needs some help. So I feel like I should cut all those stalks back and even if I sacrifice some of, the, some of the blooms this year. At least get rid of all the horrible stems. I don't know. These flocks, they've been fizzling out over the years. They used to be so beautiful. Cascading over the wall. I feel like the last couple of summers, it's just been so hot, they get burned on the stone. So I'm going to figure out what to do with them. Beauty Berry, it's not yet doing anything. I'm not sure it liked it in this corner. It's been very dry in this corner. And even though we watered it over the winter, that's another plant that is candidate for being fully cut back and it's gotten very much taller than it was supposed to. That's probably about eight feet tall. Blue Kazoo Spireas. Definitely pushing new growth. This is a whirling butterfly gora. I have two more in the back here that I don't see any new growth on. One there. Uh, this one's got new growth. Hopefully they both come back. Again, we've been watering back there all through the winter, believe it or not. These three here are trifolium rubens. Two, three. Let's see if I got a good picture of that one. That's a gold cone juniper that I hope fills in. Even water in that all winter too. Again, in the dryness of last summer, and with us having so much, so many other areas of the yard to look after, it unfortunately, kind of got neglected. I had to cut quite a bit of it out. Still has some brown on it. Just gonna keep watering it and hope it comes back. We have some more spring bulbs here that are not quite in bloom yet, but there's daffodils and hyacinths. Maybe we'll get a tulip or two out of here. I'm not sure. There's also camassia. Oh, and the sedums. This is Autumn Joy. They're obviously pushing new growth. I think we need to get rid of this juniper. It was meant to be a beautiful blue spreading mat. I don't think it likes it here. There are camassias planted up here again, but I don't see any coming up yet. These are, um, it's an Itea, Little Henry. Definitely seeing a growth on that. But anyway, I just wanted to do a quick video, show you some of the things that are coming up losing her grasses, funny filling back in from the deer because I haven't been around much and I also wanted to check to see what was going on out here. Now I, now I need to go do some cleanup. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.